What's going on guys? Welcome to another Python Mathematics and Stock Indicators tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the shake and money flow. Uh, the shake and money flow's intention is to measure money flow into and out of a stock. It's created by uh, Mr. Mark Jakin and it acts as an oscillator uh, and oscillates above and below a zero line. The calculation of the shake and money flow is in three steps basically. It's going to be um, you know, close minus the low minus the high minus the close divided by the high minus the low. Then the next step is going to be to take step one, otherwise known as the money flow multiplier, and multiply that by the time frames period total volume. So the time frame periods total volume. Sorry, I couldn't get that quite out. Step three would be to take uh, that time frame sum of step two, which is known as the money flow volume, and divide that by that time frame's periods total volume. So let's look at a couple examples here. Uh, I'll bring up the charting uh, application that we'll be working on. And let's look at Apple. So here is Apple. The uh, shake and money flow is the bottom indicator there. And as you can see, it oscillates. Here's the zero line. It's oscillating up and down. But um, one of the more useful things that you can do is, is actually make it make the zero line and then fill above and below that line with a colored fill. So let me show you an example of uh, with a colored fill. Okay, so let's look at Apple again. And this time we can obviously see Apple with a nice um, the colored fill. So the idea is to show you when money is either entering the stock or when money has been leaving the stock. So even here you can see that it's really strong. It's pretty strong but it's weakening. It continues to weaken and it gets pretty weak here. Though it continues uh, obviously holding up some sort of money because it continues going up. But then you can see as it crashes down here, we can see really that money is leaving this stock uh, pretty solidly. So we can look at another one. We can check out maybe Amazon. So here's a good one where it continues rising and you can just see where, you know, the, especially here too, and then here where a lot of money um, is at least shown to have possibly entered the stock. Um, and then all through here, I mean, this would be a really, really strong <laughs> Uh, shake an indicator here showing just pure growth so pretty interesting so uh, that's some examples of the shaking money flow um, oscillator here now in the next video we're actually going to be working out how to calculate this within Python and then the subsequent video after that we'll actually chart it up uh, just like this we'll chart it on this chart so anyway stay tuned for those videos as always thanks for watching thanks for the support and the subscriptions and until next time